How's it everyone? Welcome to another string review right here on Open Court. I'm Kent and today we're testing a string that is the shaped version of a string I tested not too long ago and I was very very surprised with. The string I tested was the Turna Big Hitter. So today we're taking a look at the Turna Big Hitter Silver 7 Tour. Let's check it out. So as most of you guys know, I loved shaped polyester strings because they grab the ball, grip it, and impart tons of spin. I like that spin, especially for my kick serve. And this Silver 7 Tour, as the name suggests, is a seven-sided heptagonal polyester. And the reason why I decided to try this, A, it's the shaped version of the Turna Big Hitter, which was a very pleasant surprise and was recommended to me by the community when I asked what Turner string should I try. They recommended I should try their flagship Big Hitter first, but a lot of people said that this Silver 7 Tour is very similar in response to the Head Links Tour, which is my personal favorite string currently. So that got me excited and made me want to try this, but before I get into it, I wanna give a quick shout out to Unique Sports, uh, they're a website that were gracious enough to actually send me a couple sets to try this Big Hitter Silver 7 Tour. I reached out to them and a very nice person named Abby sent me a couple of sets to try. So thank you very much, Abby. And if you guys are looking for Turna products, Turna grip, Turna strings, check out Unique Sports. I'll leave the link down in the description below. So the Silver 7 Tour comes in two gauges, a 130 and a 125 millimeter. I like thinner gauges, so I'm trying out the 125 millimeter, and it comes at about $10.50 for a set or $105.50 for a whole reel. So it's around $10, so it's actually pretty cheap. It's in that budget area. $10 for a poly is not too expensive. So when I did a little bit more research on this string, I found out that this string was rated number one in tension maintenance by the Tennis Warehouse University. It's also rated top three in spin, top five in comfort, and top four overall by the racket sports industry. Those are very, very impressive statistics and that made me even more excited to try this out. All right, so I got the big hitter Silver 7 Tour strung up in my head, Graphene 360 Speed Pro. I haven't used this racket in a while, but this is currently probably my racket of choice, either this or the Boom. I tried the big hitter in the Boom and I wanna try the Silver 7 Tour in this tighter Speed Pro because the I wanna see if the grip or the, the edges are going to impart more spin. It's a little bit harder to get spin with tighter string patterns. So I strung this at 52 um, both ways, which is what I'm usually testing strings at these days. I'm not gonna compare this too much to the Head Lynx Tour. I'm saving that for a future comparison video. I am gonna be looking for the spin potential and also how this compares to the traditional round turn up big hitter. So without further ado, let's get on the court and let's test out the Silver 7 Tour. So let's start out with the pros of the Turna Big Hitter Silver 7 Tour. First of all, the community was right. The Silver 7 Tour is a very crisp and lively string, which is exactly what I like. It is very similar in response to the original Big Hitter Silver, and I was so happy because that crisp feel gives me the confidence to aim for corners and smaller targets. I can hit for power and still be able to hit near the lines, which puts my opponent on the back foot. I played some singles with this string and I felt such a good balance of power and control because I could stay on the gas without fear of hitting errant shots. This is the main reason I like crisp and responsive strings. It gives me confidence from all areas of the court. I know a lot of big hitters like deader playing strings because the muted feel keeps big swings inside the baseline, but I require something different. But ultimately, it comes down to preference and which type of response will give the player the confidence to play their game. I also like crisp strings on my touch shots. I like to hit short angle topspin shots that land just inside the sidelines and forces opponents to run into the fence. The grip and feel of the Silver 7 Tour gives me the spin to hit this difficult shot. Volleys also feel solid and responsive. I knew exactly where on the string bed I was hitting and that allowed me to hit all sorts of volleys. From low volleys to punch volleys and angle volleys, I was in total command at net. Another underrated aspect I like about crisp strings is that it makes playing defense a lot easier for me. When I'm scrambling around the court and forced to hit defensive slices, lobs, or ground strokes on the run, 
I need to be even more precise because I sometimes can't track the ball all the way until it makes contact with my racket. For this, a crisp string allows me to swing more confidently and go for slightly riskier defensive shots. For example, a defensive slice toward the sidelines or a lob that lands within a foot of the baseline. I can't hit these shots with deader strings because I can't gauge my strength or touch well. But the Silver 7 Tour allowed me to transition from defense to offense easily and offense is where I want to be. Speaking of offense, apart from my ground stroke game, my favorite part of this playtest was serving. I love serving with shaped polys because it allows me to hit kick serves that bounce high and away and that's exactly what I got. This forces returns that land short for me to step in and attack. Serving and volleying is also seamless for me with this string. Slice serves stay low and skid away and the response of the Silver 7 Tour allowed me to hit slice serves close to the lines. The flat serve is the only one that didn't quite hit the highs I was hoping for. The Silver 7 Tour isn't a completely stiff and dead string so it gets some power but it doesn't have the penetration of the original big hitter silver. But a minor issue considering my kick and slice serves worked so well and I had a high percentage with both meaning I could mix it up and hit slices on second serves and kicks on first serves and I wasn't afraid of double faulting. Now let's get into the spin potential. This string had a ton of it. I noticed the spin potential especially on my kick serve. I strung this in an 18-20 pattern and I could still see my kick serve curving in midair, diving sharply inside the service box and kicking up above my opponent's shoulders. I typically like tighter patterns so shaped polys are a perfect complement to my serve. But not just on serves, I saw my topspin forehand shots dipping inside the lines. I also felt comfortable dipping the ball at the opposing net player's feet. Slicing also felt sublime. I like to use offensive slices to approach the net such as my chip and charge strategy on returns and the Silver 7 Tour's sharp edges put a tight grip on the ball and kept my slices low and skinning. And lastly, this is a very cost effective string. At right around $10, it's pretty much in the budget range of polys but just because it's budget doesn't mean that it doesn't last a long time. This string holds tension and snapback for a decent amount of time and I definitely feel this string is worth the cost of admission. It might snap a little bit quicker though if you use it in a more open pattern. Next, let's get into the cons of the Turna Big Hitter Silver 7 Tour. Honestly, I had very little issue with this string but there was one major one I noticed. This string has a noticeable break-in period. The break-in wasn't that long, but the string took a while to set in and become playable. It's not a stiffness issue like some other strings with break-in periods, I just noticed the Silver 7 Tour was shifting all over the place on the first few hits. When I took a bigger swing during warm-ups, I noticed the strings would all shift and get stuck. I was constantly fixing the strings which usually isn't an issue with polys. The coating is not that slick so I think it just takes some time to get slightly notched so the strings can begin snapping back. During this break-in period though, I had very little control on my aggressive forehand swings. I had to take some off to make sure my shots stayed inside the lines, even with my tighter speed pro. My backhand wasn't much of an issue because I hit flatter on that side, but I noticed the same inconsistency on my serves. My kick and slice serves didn't have much spin and the strings were moving out of place in the beginning. For me, it took about 4 games to finally settle in and get that control, spin, power and pop that I was expecting. I didn't have the same issue with original Big Hitter Silver, that thing played great straight out of the box, but that's mostly because the original is a round poly so it doesn't require much break in. Next, this isn't a con for me but I thought I should mention it because it may bother some people. The Silver 7 Tour is on the stiffer side, I think it's a bit stiffer than the original Big Hitter Silver. I like stiff strings because it gives me that firm response I'm looking for in terms of control but if you have arm issues, I wouldn't touch this string. And lastly, this string probably isn't suitable for hybrid setups. Most people who want to hybrid with poly are looking for some comfort but also decent control from the poly. You won't find the comfort and this string is too sharp to be an effective main or cross. If you put this in the cross, it will saw away at the mains and the durability will suffer. If you put it in the mains, the sharp edges will prevent it from sliding and snapping back. I had the same issue when I tried the Solinko Tour Bite mains and Vanquish cross setup a few months back. Maybe if you're thinking of poly poly hybrid this could be okay but for me, the Silver 7 Tour performs best in a full bed. But that's about it, I really enjoyed this string and I couldn't find many faults aside from those few nitpicks. So now let's talk about who the Turna Big Hitter Silver 7 Tour is for. 
It's for players who are looking for a crisp, lively, and firm string that gets great spin and control. This string is more for advanced players who take big cuts and want that extra spin, but also want good impact response so they can aim closer to the lines. Advanced players will also be able to handle the stiffness of this string. If you like original big hitter silver like I did but want something with a little more spin, the Silver 7 Tour is a great alternative. Although I feel the original version will hold tension better and be more durable overall, the Silver 7 Tour is easily the better choice for my game. So thank you to the YouTube tennis community for pointing this string out to me. I had a great time with it and it conforms very well to my game. Let me know in the comments if you guys have tried this string and please, please recommend another Turner string for me to try because I'm really in love with the brand now. Also, I am planning another Versus series pitting the Silver 7 Tour against my favorite poly, the Head Lynx Tour. So that should be an interesting one, so look forward to that. Thanks for watching this review of the Turna Big Hitter Silver 7 Tour right here on Open Court. If you guys like this content, be sure to overhead smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you on an open court.